Hello everyone, welcome to Orange Tactical. Today we're going to take a look at the SIG P239. Um, this is a 40 caliber um, subcompact. Uh, it was a smaller, it's one of the smaller guns um, that SIG made a while back. Uh, I don't know if they still make it or not. It's the little brother of the 229. Um, so it's just the more con concealed carry version of it. Um, but compared to a 365, um, or any of the modern concealed carry weapons. This is um, larger, less capacity. I think this is a six, six plus one or seven plus one, if I remember correctly. Um, but let's look at how you take it apart and um, just a little bit about it. So as you cock it back, um, you can see there is no, nothing in there and no mag. Um, so we'll go ahead and clear that a couple times. One of the cool things I do like about this is it, it is a hammer fire. Um, so I do like the trigger pull on it a lot. Um, just that shorter trigger pull um, once the hammer is back. But it's also got a decocker, so you can just pull this and drop your hammer. You don't have, not like a 1911, you have to worry about slamming the hammer or anything like that. Um, so you can just slowly lower it. Um, so that's a cool little feature of it. Um, but I do often find with all the butt, all the levers on the side, with the take apart and the decocker and slide release fairly close that sometimes I feel like I'm grabbing the wrong one. Um, but I do love this gun. It was my first um, like full size gun that was given to me or full caliber. Um, I had a 22 before the as well that I got a little bit before this. Um, but this was my first like large caliber pistol. Um, so how do you take it apart? So it's going to be pretty similar to a lot of the other SIGs, similar to the 229 as it is the same design. Um, so you just go ahead and lock the slide back. You'll rotate the take apart pin forward and then slowly release the slide. Um, you don't want to send that flying. Um, otherwise, you're sending it flying and could damage it or something like that. Um, on a padded table, it's not too bad. But definitely, if you're taking it apart at the range or something, you don't want to send that flying. Um, so yeah, you can see here, pretty simple. There's nothing... Nothing special um, except for your, your hammer fire instead of modern, like my 365s are all striker fire. Um, you do have a two-part spring here. Um, you've got, so that makes that easy to clean. Um, and then your barrel pops out. Um, so that's pretty standard, but that's the basics on the 239. Um, I don't think SIG still makes this. I kind of mentioned that a minute ago. Um, I know when I got this, finding holsters and stuff for it were pretty difficult. It wasn't super popular at the time um, when I was gifted this gun. Um, but I do think that there were some law enforcement agencies that carried this for a while. Um, one of the things I do really like about this is the slide is cut all the way forward. Um, so when you go to slide your um, slide onto your lower, it meshes all the way forward. A lot of the new guns um, with the polymer frames and stuff, and this is not a polymer frame either. This is a solid, um, I don't know if it's aluminum or what it is, but it's a solid frame all the way down. So you do have a um, little extra weight on the bottom. Um, but I do like that it sl slides all the way forward so that you don't have to worry about misaligning it or anything. Um, I've never really had that as a problem, but I just feel like it fits on, the slide fits on a lot better um, with with the groove all the way forward. And then once you're got your slide locked back, go ahead and just drop your flip your safe or your take apart lever back up. And then you can go ahead and drop your slide and then slowly lo lower that hammer. Um, so that's the 239 from Sig Sauer. Um, great gun, but that's how you take it apart and everything. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this content, um, please subscribe to Orange Tactical. Thanks. Have a great day.